Can I tell you what's been on my mind? Sick and tired of the nine to five in the city light. Hey, darling. Good morning, everybody. Good morning, everyone. And welcome to our vlog. You join us on a... Well, it's a bit spitty and overcast out there today, isn't it? But, yeah. Um, but the day that we did the walk was beautiful, wasn't it? It was. It was a lovely spring day. Yeah. So we took a walk up the Marple Flight from um, Marple Junction to the Aqueduct. Yes. And... Uh, we had a, a nice walk up there, didn't we? We did. Uh, thoroughly enjoyed it. It wasn't 20 miles, though. <laughs> well, it was in your eyes, wasn't it? Well... No, I think it was only about... I think it was probably about two and a half to three miles there and back. Yeah. But it was uphill, so... Only one way. <laughs> <laughs> it was still uphill. <laughs> anyway, we, we've got something a little bit different. So this week we're going to show you the marble flight, uh, the yeah. walk. Yeah. And then after that, if you stick around till the end, um, we're going to show you the cruise that we did as well, didn't we? Yeah, so we cruised from Marple Junction, the, down the Macclesfield Canal, um, down to Limeview Marina. Yeah. Um, and, oh. Yeah, and that actually we... We we were looking for a bit more of an isolated mooring spot, wasn't we? Yeah. Um, but because it was a bank holiday weekend and it was a Saturday, it was busy. It was busy, and yeah. mo all of the best moorings were taken up. Yeah. So uh, so we ended up, and we'd, we'd started to get a bit tired by that point, um, because this was the second part of our cruise in conjunction with last week's yeah. cruise. Uh, we did that all on the same day. And um, we were getting a bit tired, and the batteries had run out on the cameras. Um, so we ended up just pulling over at Lime View Marina. And actually, it didn't turn out too and it bad. Was, it was it? quite nice was there right. in the end, wasn't it? It was nice and quiet. Yeah, it was. And uh, we met a couple of viewers, didn't we? As yeah. When we were leaving, there yeah. were a couple of viewers there that said hello. Yeah, they were in their boat, which is uh, sort of which was your opposite. sea to one side. Yeah. Um, we also good. met some other viewers and on the way, didn't we? Yeah, well, sin since this video was filmed, um, which obviously was the bank holiday weekend a little while ago, um, we've left. We've actually left the Macclesfield Canal yeah. and we're heading south down the Trent and Mersey. Yeah. And it was during that section of the journey we saw uh, quite a few viewers, didn't we? We did, yeah. So we just wanted to say hello to Jez, Lisa and Pepper on Narrowboat Lattice. Hello. Who, who um, we saw uh, when we were just passing um, Aston Marina. Yep. Just after Aston Marina. And at Stone, we saw Ken and Christine. They were at Stone. From, they're from the States, weren't they? Uh, actually, I don't know, because you've spoken to them. Oh, right, I okay. Didn't, I did actually speak to them. I was a bit busy at the time. Um, but we saw Donna and Janet, Brian and Rick, who they were from the States or Canada. One of I think they were for Colorado or something like that. Anyway, my memory's bad, but yeah, yeah. But go. anyway, we um, they had a they, they also a had Canada, Canada actually. I think they yeah. had quite yeah, a striking accent. Donna, Janet, Brian, and Rick. So hello Canada, to you so all. Hello everyone. And um, and there were plenty others that we that we saw that we didn't get chance to catch names yeah. for. Yeah. Um. So hello to everyone who yeah. said hello. Yeah. And we got to say thank you to all the subscribers that made comments about the uh the Aussie boys and the yeah, and the, 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 the grandchildren and the family yeah. fun that was absolutely yeah. fantastic yeah we loved it and it we sounds enjoyed like you it. did too and so. it sounded like everybody enjoyed it yeah. so uh yeah and uh, we hope you do also thank you very much for subscribing we're now over the 7000 7, oh yeah like a big yeah, hurdle we, that yeah, one we, we we've been we've been um on the verge of 7,000 for about the last six months but obviously yeah. because we wasn't videoing um, yeah. it didn't we didn't we didn't yeah. um, get jump that hurdle did so we, we had the 7,000 yeah. then we also had our, um, our fourth, fourth anniversary. anniversary fourth anniversary aboard Dump, Narrowboat Dunwork yeah and if th nobody so. saw us we was actually be we was interviewed weren't we we uh, was yeah, uh, in Interviewed by, by uh, the foxes. The foxes, but it, but that was because it was their fourth anniversary and, of vlogging. Yeah, and we yeah. say yeah. congratulations to, to them, them as well. Yeah. Um, but that was a great evening, and we uh, yeah. we enjoyed that. We didn't enjoyed we? that, yeah. So yeah. we loved all of that. Yeah. So thank you for that. Yeah. Thank you for uh, the people that are supporting us uh, with uh, uh, donations. We now have 
Uh, we've now got a Patreon page, and we have a a go for coffee. coffee. Is it? Is that what it is? Anyway, so if you yeah. want to, if you feel yeah. as if you want to, like to buy us a, a coffee, donation to buy us buy us a coffee, treat us, treat us, then, then you can do so. It's there for you to do so. No yeah. obligation, of course, but entirely yeah. up to you. Yeah. Um, of course, subscribing to the channel remains free. And that's true, yeah, yeah. until YouTube does something different. Yeah, yeah. But our future plans. A lot of people have asked uh, via our comments um, about what our future plans are travel-wise, yeah. uh, what the plans are for the rest of the year, really. Yeah, and um, well, I mean, I don't know about for the rest of the year, but imminently, obviously at the moment we're travelling down the Trent and Mersey, um, because we have our BSS due, which is boat which safety is scheme. Our boat safety scheme, which is like an MOT for boats. Yeah, which is due um, very soon. So we're travelling down the Trent and Mersey for that. Plans are: we're going to finish off the Trent and Mersey towards Trent Lock, and then we're going to do a right turn down the River Saw. Um, Exciting. Down. <laughs> well, we've not done it before, have we? We've not, not on the rivers. No. So we're going to go down the River Saw and down the Leicester GU, um, Grand Union Canal, um, and we're hoping that by the beginning of the summer months we're going to be on the middle levels. Yeah. Um, so we're going to spend the summer exploring the middle levels. Yeah. Um, so that's our future plans, yeah. basically. Plus also, future yeah. plans for videos, we've got uh, the review of our lithium batteries, because yeah. by that time we will have had enough data collected mm. for our, from our lithium batteries to be able to give you an idea as to how that, how, how that all works and, mm. and, and all of that. So that will be coming up soon. Um, I'm also going to be adding, people have asked for, uh, I'm amateur radio, I'm an amateur mm. radio operator and um, people have been asking me how uh, on the amateur radio side um, I do my ham radio on the boat, so I'll be adding that into, into a video into at some as point we go along, along, yeah. as we go along. Yeah. So uh, hopefully that's uh, that's yeah. all good. Good. Yeah. So um, we, so we hope that's going to be of some interest for yeah. you. So let's get on with the video, shall we? We can do. Yeah. So we will stop gassing and get on with the video, and uh, hope you enjoy it. Yeah. Bye. Bye for now. For now. Where are we, honey? On the Marple flight, of the Peak Forest Canal. On the Marple flight? Yeah, but we're not cruising it, we're just walking it, because we're not going to be coming this way. So, uh, we just thought we'd take a walk up there. Yeah, very nice too. There are 16 locks at the Marple flight, which is one of the steepest flights in Britain. They raised the canal 209 feet to reach a height of 518 feet above sea level at Marple, and cover just under one and a half miles. The Marple flight, however, was not completed until 1804. That was four years after the rest of the Peak Forest Canal. The one mile gap was bridged by a temporary tramway until the canal company sought the £27,000 to complete the flight. By the early 1960s, the locks had become dilapidated, but in the late 60s, the Peak Forest Canal Society, in conjunction with the Inland Waterways Association, wanted to save the Cheshire Ring. This resulted in the restoration and reopening of the flight in 1974. I wonder how many horses have travelled through this tunnel over the years. Yeah. <laughs> They've got <lately>. <laughs> <laughs> In old nags. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've just went through. <laughs> Another old nag. It sorted itself out. Oh, I'm not quite sure what happened here. To the left of us here is a memorial park. Oh, what, sorry? To the left of us here is a memorial park. Oh, is Marshall it? Memorial park, Oh, 
go under the road here. That's crazy that, isn't it? Down and under the road. Just coming up to lock eight, I think. Lock eight? Yeah. That's not bad, is it? Not that bad. <laughs> We're walking pretty slow. Yeah. Oh, where are we where are we heading for? Well, at the bottom of the locks and the aqueduct. The bottom of the locks and the aqueduct, yep, that's it. Yeah. And then we'll take a slow meander back. Either and then it'll the be a route, very slow yeah. meander back. Number three. <laughs> this is actually a very pleasant walk, isn't it? Yeah. Not too long for you, is it? No. <laughs> well, hopefully not. <laughs> Enjoying your walk? Yeah, it's a nice day. What's not to enjoy? Well, true. Number one. Marple Grand Aqueduct here, um, engineered by um, Benjamin Outram and built between 1794 and 1800. I think it's the tallest masonry arch aqueduct in England. So this, this the Peak Forest Canal was the main route into Dukenfield and was opened um, throughout 1804. It fell into disuse in the 1960s and restoration was started by the Inland Waterways Association and the Peak Forest Canal Society. So the aqueduct carries the Peak Forest Canal 100 feet above the River Goit in a brick-built channel, li channel lined with puddled clay. I want you to do the road.
coming up is Goit Mill. It was one of the last cotton mills to be built in the Marple area and is the only one of its kind left standing locally today. Built in 1905, the mill only had a successful 60 years in the cotton industry as yarn production ceased in the 1960s. After standing empty for a few years, it, has now, it now houses 83 businesses and workshops, including a children's soft play area and, and an indoor climbing wall. Rumour has it that Goit Mill is up for sale. So if you have a spare six million pounds handy and a lot more spare for refurbishment, it may make some lovely apartments with glorious views over the Cheshire Plains. So that's the first sight of the, some ducklings for us. Obviously where we've been holed up in a marina. Um, we've not been out. Oh, they're young. There's some stock planks there, so if they want to isolate this section of the canal, they can just uh, put the planks across the, the uh, bridge.
So we're just coming up to an old junction here. It's um, High Lane, the old High Lane Arm. And as you can see, it's a private mooring now for the North Cheshire Cruising Club. Quite nice moorings with the little bit of little bit of land that you got there. What's up, honey? Uh, I think we might have picked up something on the top, I think. We seem to be going a little bit slower for the amount of revs we're doing, don't we? Yeah. Isn't that what you just said earlier? Yeah, we did try pulling over earlier, but we didn't, couldn't, uh, wasn't a proper mooring. Yeah. Never mind. Yeah. Couldn't get near the bank, close enough to the bank, could we? No. So, onwards, to see if we can find another mooring. Yep. All you can do. 